Hey friends, it's Rach with the Ponds Farmhouse and today we're going to be taking some scrap lumber and we're going to be making a flower or herb press so that you can press your beautiful blooms and and save them for future decor items. So, um, we're going to start out because I want these to look like they're old boards and they're not. I'm going to start out with some um, stain and then we're going to paint them. Uh, so we're going to get started with that first and then we'll show you exactly how you can make your own flower press. First, we're using a gel stain just to cover the end, all the board on all sides. Then with the drill press, we're drilling a hole through both boards at the same time using a clamp to hold them together. And then we're going to do a countersink on the back side. Once we finish with that, we're going to go ahead and paint them up with some chalk paint and then sand back the edges uh, to give it a distressed look. To decorate the top of my board, I'm going to do a heat press uh, decoupage technique. I'm, I downloaded a free printable and I'm placing it on the uh, board uh, all over. And then I'm going to take some parchment paper and cover that and then use an iron to heat press the printable to the top of the board. Just make sure that it's well adhered and then you're going to be ready with a beautiful top. So now we're going to put the board together with our uh, bolts and uh, wing nuts. Here I have some cardboard paper and paper pressed over some uh, flowers. So we're going to go ahead and get started pressing them. You just want to line them in the center of the board. Uh, and then take your top and put it on top of that. Next, you want to tighten everything down by adding some washers and some wing nuts uh, to press this, the two boards together. This will help to quickly dry the flowers in your press. So I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to put all the details down in the description here. You can also see my blog post, which tells you all about how I did this. And I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you so much for watching.